Uh, we are working with the Pan African Parliament uh, to see if we can, not to see, but we are proposing to have a moratorium on land acquisition in Africa, which means stop the land grabbing, stop this massive acquisition of land. If you look at the agricultural sector in, in Africa, it is driven by small scale farmers. It's not driven by big business. Uh, the green revolution in Asia was not driven by big, big businesses. It was driven by small producers. So it's a lie to think that uh, we, we should be fed by big businesses, by big agro-businesses. This is completely fake. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that we put a stop to the to this huge acquisition of land in Africa. That's number one. Uh, uh, the other thing that we are also doing is to see how we can set up a rapid response team. A rapid response team that will uh, be, a, if you want, a, um, a team that will support and capacitate communities when they are facing with signing a contract with big companies. They come with a team of lawyers and in front of them you have people who have, you know, they, 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 they haven't, uh, they don't, they are not as educated as those, those, those lawyers and they cannot read the fine print of those contracts. They're signing, most of the people, you ask them, but what have you signed? They will tell you, no, they tell us that they will give us a job. And, and, and because of that, they, they signed the contract. We don't, those, we don't want those things to happen again. We want them to be capacitated. If they have a team of lawyers, we should also have a team of lawyers that will be sitting with them and making sure that the contract that they sign uh, will not, by any means, uh, undermine their livelihood. Uh, that this contract that they're signing is a good investment, an investment that will bring uh, a good, a good, thing, to, good uh, thing to to their life. During the past decades in Africa, investment in the agricultural sector, which is the, the priority of Africa, is to invest in agriculture. I'm not saying that we should only invest in agriculture, but we should be treated, agriculture should be treated as a priority. In, in the past 10 years, 20 years, the investment in agriculture has decreased, not increased. 75% of our people live in the rural area. So I think it's important for us uh, to, to support the communities, the villages, and the people uh, that uh, are facing this, this very uh, uh, negative impact from the corporate uh, world. Thank you.